MECFS Olympics by Whitney Defoe. It says a lot about the unique and widely misunderstood challenges that MECFS and long COVID patients face that there could not be an MECFS Olympics. Because if we tried to compete and push the physical limits of our bodies like that, all the winners would simply be dead. I'm not sure there are other conditions quite like that, where there is absolutely no way to push the limits of the physical confines of an illness. Where there is no way to will yourself to overcome the odds, or power through, or be strong and do it anyways, or anything like that. Where the physical limitations imposed by the illness are the same whether you were previously a triathlon or a couch bum. Where no amount of trying, or willing, or pushing can make your quality of life better. Where YOLO would literally end your one life. With MECFS, long COVID, pushing yourself just makes you worse endlessly until you would at some point die. MECFS, long COVID is like having a severe allergic reaction to overexertion, pushing yourself past your energy limits. Doctors, family, Friends, carers, and the general public really need to understand this unique challenge that MECFS and many long COVID patients face until our inability to push ourselves past our limits is accepted, understood, and supported the same way a peanut allergy is. I want the stewards on airplanes to have unfoldable beds ready for MECFS, long COVID patients who wind up with a severe overexertion reaction. Just like they have EpiPens ready for severe airline peanut allergic reactions. The dangers posed by serving peanuts to those with peanut allergies is the same as the dangers posed by a highly stimulating and uncontrollable environment that requires sitting up for long periods of time for MECFS and long COVID patients. If there was one thing I could will the world into understanding about MECFS, long COVID, It would be this. Because out of all the challenges we face, not understanding our inability to push ourselves causes the most unnecessary inflicted suffering upon us. Most doctors think that MECFS, long COVID patients, could feel better if they tried harder, and this leads to widespread neglect, abuse, and mistreatment to millions of people all over the world. If doctors truly understood that no amount of trying could make us feel or function any better, they would do less harm, or maybe someday, no harm, as they have sworn in the Hippocratic Oath they all took, by accommodating our needs rather than constantly expecting us to overcome our needs. And they would not sit by and wait for us to get over. Urgent routine medical conditions because they would not expect us to be able to will ourselves out of them. Just as they do not expect anyone who has any other illness to will themselves out of a physical medical condition. You don't see pamphlets about positive vibes at oncology offices. You see pamphlets about physical challenges and real physical solutions. If caregivers understood that pushing ourselves, Made us worse, they would be able to care for us in a much better way that would not only help us be healthier but help us actually be able to do more without making our illness worse. When caregivers expect MECFS and long COVID patients to simply push ourselves to do more, we often wind up in a rolling crash that leads to a needless state of never ending degeneration. Caregivers need to understand what our energy limits are and help us or take care of us in a way that lets us stay below them. If there was any basic way of defining the job of caregiver, it would be to care for a person so they do not get sicker, or ideally, so that they can recover in some way. This is what we need from caregivers for MECFS. Long COVID patients, and the key to doing this is understanding our inability to. Push ourselves. The people surrounding MECFS, 
long COVID patients need to understand this most basic tenant of the illness because if they do not, they will cause us immeasurable harm. And the public needs to understand MECFS, long COVID patients' inability to push ourselves so that when we interact with the public, our needs are met and we are not constantly living on a planet that is failing us or actually trying to stomp us out of existence at every opportunity. It's time to wake up world. We are doing our best. All of us. And there is nothing we can do to physically conquer our illness, overcome our illness, or push through like warriors. The same way no one can push through a peanut allergy. No one is stronger for having a lesser allergic reaction to peanuts. The truth is that we are already warriors, battling not to push beyond physical limits, but fighting an internal battle for radical acceptance of a life stripped of what once brought meaning and purpose to our lives. The world has great admiration for Olympians who push the physical limits of their bodies. And the world has great admiration for disabled Olympians who push the limits of their bodies. It is time for the world to realize what an incredible feat it is to survive with the profound limitations imposed on patients with MECFS and long COVID. To accept a life that for many MECFS and long COVID patients is without all of the things we dreamed of our whole lives is no small feat. It requires profound mind training. When will the world see how much strength, courage, bravery and endurance is required to train to live a life with less of everything that defines life? And when will the world see how much suffering that causes? And when will that translate into admiration and respect and empathy? And when will that empathy translate into action that brings about the cure that should have been here decades ago and prevented millions of people from ever getting MECFS or long COVID in the first place and losing their entire lives and futures? We are warriors and champions, no less than the Olympians running, skiing, twisting, jumping, rolling, etc. to physical extremes. Training the mind is no different than training the body. And if there were an Olympics for mind training, we would all be gold medalists. Love, Whitney.